including a tussle for the top spot in the greater metro. But first, our Boston Store featured student athlete is a wrestler from Milwaukee Pulaski who had more to overcome than just his opponents on the mat. Rob Vogel has the inspirational story of O'Brien Mungin. If it's true that home is where the heart is, then for Milwaukee Pulaski's O'Brien Mungin, the wrestling mat is his home address. Wrestling has played a big part in my life. It stopped me from, it's kept me out of trouble a lot. You know, when I have problems, think things ain't going right, I get coaching call and he talk and let me know that I got too much to lose. Losing on the mat is something O'Brien has not done much of. The city conference MVP owns a 35 and three record highlighted by last weekend's first place finish at 125 pounds in the team regionals, which featured an electrifying semifinal pin over then second ranked Paul Zizzo of Whitnall. O'Brien's success on the mat, while impressive, is just the tip of the iceberg. On a team where 16 of the 23 wrestlers come from broken homes, O'Brien is no different, but his survival on the streets and success on the mat make him truly unique. Since seventh grade, he's been bounced around and, and not really given a shot by his own relatives, uh, many of them, and, uh, and continues to say, I'm going to get through this. I used to live with my father, you know, um, and I didn't quite get along with his wife, so I ended up moving with my grandma. And my grandma's been there for me all the time, you know. She's a caring, loving person, but I always had coach through all this. All these tough times and everything, I always had a coach. The relationship between teacher and pupil changed both lives ever since they met when O'Brien entered the sixth grade. O'Brien's mother would soon move to Virginia, while his father moved in and out of his life, leaving a young boy and his two sisters to grapple with life on their own. O'Brien, with the help of his new coach, decided to get up off the mat and take on this challenge. He thinks it was divine intervention that he ended up at the only middle school wrestling team in the city and got to wrestle. And I just met Coach Kurth and he kind of got me to come by giving me basketball cards every day after practice. So they kept me coming and coming. And then finally, I just got addicted to it. <laughs> An addiction that may have saved O'Brien's life. With the evils of life on the streets, like drugs and crime surrounding him, love of a sport and love from a coach forged a bond that produced a reversal of fortune for both. He's like a father figure to me, actually. You know, he understands everything. Anything I have, any problems I have, I just bring it to him, you know? And he takes me in with open arms. I just love coach. O'Brien is the one kid who chose to stick with it, to listen, to be affected by what he was listening to and what he was seeing. And uh, he has made my entire path in my life worthwhile. A path that is littered with O'Brien's accomplishments, including countless school and conference records O'Brien has or will own before he is done. But none of the numbers or even a state title are needed to validate O'Brien's most important achievement. O'Brien is already a winner. No matter how many times O'Brien pins somebody, he's always going to be the underdog because of where he's from. And that's what makes, it, makes us and makes him even more, more of a champion. You know, when I win something, it means more to me because I know I came from a long way. Because of what I overcame, you know, coming up. Winning has a lot to do with it, but when I win, I think like, man, I'm so proud of myself. O'Brien wrestles today at the Racine Park sectional, and with three victories, he'll not only earn a return trip to state, he'll also notch his 100th career win. What a story. And here's his coach, Ed Kurth, to honor O'Brien on behalf of Boston Store. We're getting set to take it to the hoop, so stay tuned. Coming up on Preps Plus, we're going skiing at the Midwest High School Ski Conference. Remember our featured student athlete from Pulaski? He better make room in his trophy case because O'Brien is also one of our athletes of the week. It's a first here on Preps Plus. Our featured student athlete of the week this week is also our athlete of the week this week. O'Brien dropped down from his normal weight class of 130 pounds to wrestle at 125 last Saturday in this, the Whitnall Wrestling Regional. 
and the move paid dividends. O'Brien pinned Whitnell's Paul Zizzo here in the semifinals, then advanced and won the regional final with a 5-3 decision over Joel Burdick of Racine Park. Well, coming into the tournament, I was very nervous, knowing that these guys, how good they were, ranked sixth and one ranked second. I was nervous, but I knew all along, I was thinking like, man, I worked too hard, you know what I mean? I worked too hard to lose. O'Brien's last two regional wins came against opponents ranked in the top 10 in the state at 125, and both were state qualifiers last year. And again, so was O'Brien, who's three wins away from a return trip to Madison. Over to the basketball court we go, where Thomas Moore's Megan Herrich had a... This week's Scholar Athlete is a tag team effort by a pair of Pulaski wrestlers. Roger Horry reports. Phil Carreros and Jesse Belasco helped lead the Rams to their first undefeated season in school history. These conference champions were also two of a record seven wrestlers Pulaski qualified for this year's state tournament. Practicing with each other and knowing that they're some of the best wrestlers, it's helps a lot, like OB and Justin and a lot of other guys, they're really good, so it kind of helps just wrestling the best. Both Phil and Jesse realize the qualities that make them winners on the mat are the same ones that help them succeed in the classroom. We're all a bunch of good guys, and I'm pretty sure all of us are on honor roll, students. Um, we all try our hardest in school and everything else, and then bring it into the mat later. You have to pretty much use your head for both. I mean, you're always on your feet. Um, thinking on the mat, thinking in school is all the same. You always have to be aware of what you're doing. They may not have met their goals at state this season, but there's no keeping this pair pinned down in the future. Roger Howry, today's TMJ4 Sports. Next in sports, yesterday the Brewers tied the... Three, two, one, two. Tomorrow starts today. Preps Plus, the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel High School Sports Show, every Saturday morning at 10.30 on today's TMJ4. The auto accident was not your fault. Like a big deal. The Bucks Ray Allen on Sunday night. Preps Plus, the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel High School Sports Show. He's going down the right side. He's going down the right side. Today's show is brought to you by Boston Store, Century Foods, the new Century, it's a big deal, Best Buy, Athletic Force, Columbia St. Mary Sports Medicine with nine locations, and by Warehouse Shoes, we've got it. I'm Gary Howard and this is Preps Plus, the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel's high school sports show. This morning, we wrestle with the question, who's got the best team on the mat in the city conference? Plus, City Hoops takes center stage for some great matchups in the court. Coming up, our Best Buy Team of the Week is proving that the only label worth pinning on them is that of winners. The Week. It's back to the wrestling mat for our Best Buy Team of the Week. Rob Bogle took in the action at Milwaukee Pulaski to find out what makes the Rams tough. is a team sport and you are a quality team one of the top teams in the state one of the top urban teams in the nation there is a lot to celebrate these days for the wrestlers at milwaukee pulaski to date the rams are undefeated and have clinched their seventh straight city conference title despite the success tuesday night's win over perennial power waukesha south felt like a breakthrough victory for these rams this means uh the, probably the biggest win for our team in my four years is we want to go undefeated this year, and that's our goal, and we're, we're almost there. We win city, but us, by re uh, winning regionals and sectionals and going to team state two years in a row, that really put us on the map and made a name for ourselves. Back-to-back -back trips to state, coupled with the Rams' current number eight ranking in Wisconsin, has more than put Pulaski on the wrestling map. The Rams' success is helping kids use the mat to change the perception of city conference grapplers. We go to tournaments in the first couple years. We just didn't get any, any respect. We just got tossed around. 
Now we walk in there and they're always looking at us and saying, we gotta beat the Pulaski kid, we can't lose the city school. I think it's changed big time because most, most urban schools think that city schools aren't really dedicated and that they don't have the will to try. And when we go up there, they all see us and then they see how we wrestle and they all start to realize that some city schools can do. Pulaski continues to do it despite the off-the-mat challenges most suburban schools don't have. Obstacles ranging from financial to social environment must be treated like a two-point takedown. To do it time and again, the Rams look to a coach affectionately called Bobby Knight. But instead of throwing chairs to get his point across, Ed Kurth uses a direct message to teach these Rams about wrestling and life. Wrestling, more than any other sport, imitates life. And the only way you ever get better is with hard work and practice, with listening to coaches, with opening your mind. And I think that's the best thing. I think the kids really understand that. Now the Rams have their eyes set on the big prize, an idea that once only seemed like a dream, now appears to be a perfect ending to the program that is already a success story. As I would not go that far to say something like that. Uh, but I'll tell you what, we've gone farther than I ever thought. We can always use great stories about student athletes and teams. So call or email our staff. Baseball stars. Also coming up, the A hot on the home ice tonight. And wrestling with success. Dennis has sports next. Learn what you can do to alleviate leg games, and it's just nice to see that uh, guys are putting the puck in. I think that's in everybody's back of their mind. Everybody wants to be in the playoffs, but, uh, you know, we got to make sure we get there and uh, just keep playing like we're playing. The Milwaukee Pulaski wrestling team is headed to the state tournament for the second straight year. Conference champions for six straight years. The Rams could also qualify five to eight individuals for that state meet. I don't think any Milwaukee team has ever been able to do that. It's a real credit to these kids. Uh, come out of the city and be able to do what they're doing. You no, know, I work hard on pra and practice all the time on pen, like work hard, training and everything. I feel pretty good about breaking the record. We have four, four captains this year, all seniors, and I think they all look up to the seniors for encouragement. Well, I'm expecting to take state. I mean, this is what I work for in the off season. I mean, I, I work hard every day and that's my main goal. And if I don't achieve it, you know, I don't achieve it, but I'm gonna give it my all. And that's sports. Mike and Carol coming right back. Sports Tone. When you were brought slow. Okay. okay. <laughs> we'll take note of that. Thanks a lot. Bro. All right. In tonight's Daily Dose, or no, wait, wait, it's not the Daily Dose, is it? No, it's not. It's in the Homeworks Report. It is. That's right. <laughs> Homeworks Report. Making uh, some fancy moves by some local wrestlers, and that's all for a good cause. Don Hoffman shows us a team pinning their competition both in and out of the classroom. <laughs> The first thing this group of young Pulaski High School wrestlers tell you is that their life is about taking care of business. That's the business right here on the mat. It's a, it's a sport, it's a game, but it's also a, it's a business. The more work you do, the funner it is when you win a match. And overall, this strategy seems to be paying off. Out of the 22 members on the team, five are state qualifiers, and the only Milwaukee state medalist came from Pulaski. Ranked sixth in the state, um, that's phenomenal. Going to state two years in a row, winning back-to-back -back sectional championships, uh, last time that was done was 1979. And talking about the achievement these youngsters have reached would certainly be enough for a news story. But actually, believe it or not, there's much more. I think the best wrestlers are the people that are, are the smartest people. They get good grades in school. We have 16 of 22 kids on the honor roll. Uh, a couple months ago, I learned that one of my wrestlers uh, single-handedly saved three kids who fell through the ice. I just reacted. Like, I didn't expect to go on the ice, but I seen the kids, so I just reacted. Kind of like wrestling. You react. You just, you just go from the start. Proving, these youngsters say, sports are more than just a bunch of games. They mold a way of life. I think wrestling has brought me a long way from where I started. They taught me to like to stick with whatever I want to do, and then not get the conference again. For the Homeworks Report, I'm Don Hoffman, CBS 58 News. And Coach Kurth tells us about a half dozen Pulaski students will be going on to compete at the Badger State Games this summer. We wish them all the best of luck.
Paul Piaskuski is here now with a look at what's coming up tonight at 6, Paul. You know what they're calling us? X for the 6'3 pounder. Unhappy with the offer he received from Seattle, former Packer wide receiver Derek Mays is looking around as a free agent. The Bears and Raiders are said to be interested. Milwaukee Pulaski will be well represented at this weekend's state individual wrestling tournament in Madison. Roger Howry has the story. The Rams are sending a whopping seven wrestlers to the WIAA state tournament, the most for a Milwaukee City school in over 20 years. It's incredible. I've never been so ecstatic in my life. It's they we're going to have so much fun up there, and hopefully we're going to get some wins out of everyone. All seven are conference champs, but four will be making their first trip to state. Pretty excited? Yeah, I'm really excited. Kind of nervous and just so excited right now. I'm not really even sure. It's first time I've always dreamed of it and going. We're going to treat this uh, like another tournament with a lot, with um, some real hard practice. And I'll watch for them anytime they start getting happy they made it. I'll clamp down on them and make sure they remember what their job is up there. Now, the Rams haven't had an individual state champion since 1989. But 103-pound senior Josh Fendrick says that's about to change. I'm totally confident that I'm going to go to the finals and dis destroy whoever's there right and try to win a state title. Confidence certainly isn't lacking for the seventh-ranked Rams, who completed the school's first-ever undefeated season. Pulaski hopes its winning ways continue this weekend. Roger Howry, today's TMJ4 Sports. And Mike and Carol return right after this. Get ready for